I haven't been doing much in the Twelve community in the last 18 months or so because I've been working on a, a different kind of extension. <laughs> <laughs> and I had hoped when I booked this that it would all be finished right now, but uh, this is what my kitchen looked like 10 days ago. <laughs> so I've been a little distracted. But hopefully it's coming to an end and I can do some short pop-up pearl work. But this is something that I did in the last year or so that I thought uh, might be interesting. Like many businesses, we have uh, an Perl code. Um, we have system Perl, we have applications, we have a whole bunch of, sort of private business modules, and we have an even larger bunch of CPAN modules. We have about uh, 5,000 modules, so a couple of hundred distributions worth, installed over many years in, into this CPAN code. We just sort of dump the modules in, uh, and this code runs on many systems. To <coughs> is this a familiar story? Many of you have been <laughs> So we want to up upgrade. You know, 5.8 is ancient. And, you know, we'd like to do the 5.10, 5.12, 5.14 thing. Uh, but the problem is we have a lot of extensions in here that are compiled, and of course they're not finally compatible. Now, because there's so many production systems running on, on this code, and, you know, to be honest, we don't have a great test co coverage. We don't want to just upgrade all, all the modules and rebuild them for the code of 510. So what I want to do is clone the exact set of distributions that are in our Perl lib into another Perl lib and rebuild them for Perl 510. And then just point Perl 5 lib at that, uh, at that directory and try and test our code for Perl 510. So first problem is, What's actually in that directory after years of dumping secret modules, modules in there? Now, I, I thought this would be quite straightforward. You know, I had vague memories of hack lists of the whole local pod uh, installed, you know, some work by Brian DeFoy on something similar. And the usual hope that some, someone's done this before, of course. You know, how could it be? And someone must have had the same problem. <coughs> First of all, pack lists, complete waste of space for them this job, uh, they only record what's been installed and they don't tell you where it came from. Then I discovered in talking on IRC that there's this uh, whatdisk.pl uh, and it tries to look at a, a library directory and work out what's in, installed. But it only tells you about the latest distribution that would give you that module list. But it was a good place to start, so I hacked it and I did a pull up the files and it kind of worked, but it was full of hacks and just blind luck. But local, it turns out, is rather less useful than it appears to be. The records a name and a version, but they're just the name and the version in the makefile.pl, which may bear no relation to the name of the modules installed, the name of the distribution, or the version of anything. Uh, and then the real final nail in, in, in the coffin is that it's incomplete. Everything that's a lie, it's module build that's oh, broken. Oh, exactly. Okay, forgiveness. As usual. As usual. <laughs> module build. Hey, uh, I'd add that really soon, though. <laughs> I, then, I then discovered this, and I thought, yes, perfect, that's just what I want, unfortunately it doesn't, it doesn't work, it just fails in all sorts of, all sorts of ways. Uh, and then I looked at Brian DeFoy's work, and that kind of sounds like just what I'm after, and he's done a lot of work, but he just hasn't done the important final bit of working out what version has been installed. I looked at GitPan, using shards, trying to use the GitHub a a API to work out uh, what Operations, but that didn't work. It wasn't. One minute. Thank you. Uh, lots to do, so I was very sad. I'm just going to go blah blah blah. Meta CPAN is the answer. Meta CPAN is fully awesome. Uh, very happy. Basically, this is what I do now. Uh, I get all the installed modules, versions, file sizes. For every one of those, I say, ask Meta CPAN what distributions had this version of this module at this file size. For every one of those candidate distributions, which there might be many, I ask Meta CPAN for all the modules and versions and file sizes in there, and then I check them against what's actually installed. And I score the candidate against what's actually in the library. So in theory, the, the right installation comes up with 100%, and all the others come up less because the modules have been overridden. So here's a log. Uh, beavering through, so for example, that's a commercial one not found on CPAN. Various things get flagged up, but for example, uh, file size changes because we might have uh, we might hack the code, so it tells you if you've got hacked versions. Blah blah blah, all sorts of things it does, and then at the end it tries to work out what distributions are the best fit. So what it's finding here is remnants of old in installations 
what's all sort of been left over. <laughs> so it's finding all, all those for you, and then at the end of the day, it spits out a list of exactly what you've got installed. So that's very handy. Okay, so that's kind of half the problem. The next problem is, well, how do you install this stuff? It turns out that you can't simply feed this to cpanm, because cpanm will go and fetch the latest dependencies. So what you need to do is you need to build a mini cpan. So I, I tried cpan inject, but that doesn't matter. It's too painful. So finally, I just added a make cpan directory. And it just, because it has all, all the information, when it goes off and fetches the distributions, dumps them in there. So you end up being able to do the whole job with this survey command line, which writes out the cpan and a list of the installed distributions, and then the cpanm command to install that list from that distribution. And the big bonus is you get to test all of your modules against all the other modules that are actually in production. So you'd be surprised how often you get failures that you haven't noticed just because of the order that you did the installations. Now it all gets tested. Five. Five. <laughs>